hello everyone welcome to my classroom in today's class i am going to discuss about multiplexers and different types of multiplexers in combinational logic circuits so in general multiplexer is nothing but a circuit or device which is used to select one input from many number of inputs listen carefully it is going to select one input from many number of inputs so multiplexer so multi means many many number of inputs are given to a single circuit so among them we are going to select only one so it is also known as a data selector so in general multiplexer is having two power n data inputs input lines n selection lines and single output line this is very very important point so multiplexer any type of multiplexer is having only one output line so this is the block diagram of multiplexer circuit having two power n input lines n selection lines and single output line based on the input given to selection lines so multiplexer works by considering this input so based on the input given here it is going to select one input line and that line goes to output so this is what happens in a multiplexer so multiplexer is also called as mux in short now we'll see 2 to 1 multiplexer so 2 to 1 so having two input lines one output line two input lines means 2 power 1 2 power 1 so one selection line 2 power n input lines n selection lines so this is the block diagram of 2 to 1 multiplexer i have considered two inputs one selection line one output line observe this carefully so consider i am taking like this this is 0 this is 1 my input is 0 so again 0 1 if my input to selection line is 0 then it connects to input 1 and it is going to output line observe carefully if my input is 0 it connects to input 1 nothing but input 1 is selected and it goes to output similarly if my selection input is 1 then it is going to select this input and it goes to output line i have mentioned here if s is 0 selection is 0 then input 1 is selected if s is 1 input 2 is selected so this is the truth table for 2 to 1 multiplexer input is so observe selection is 0 then output is nothing but in 1 so whatever you give here that is the output if s is 1 in 2 is output but in order to derive in order to derive boolean expression so i am taking expanded version of my truth table this is what expansion of this truth table if you observe this carefully 2 to 1 multiplexer is having 1 2 and 3 inputs so first possibility is combination 0 0 so 0 0 combination and this is also 0 selection line 0 similarly again i am taking 0 0 here but selection line is 1 so this is one combination of inputs next 0 1 0 1 so 0 1 with 0 0 1 with 1 this is totally four combinations similarly 1 0 1 1 total eight combinations i have taken here observe first both are zeros 0 0 and selection line is 0 so if selection line is 0 input 1 is selected and it is my output observe if selection line is 1 it is going to select input 2 so 
here I have 0 and that is my output. Similarly, observe here. Selection line is 0. So, it is going to input 1. Here it is 1. My output is 1. Selection line is 1. It selects input 2. Here input 2 is nothing but 0. That is my output. Similarly, fill all this data. This is my truth table. So, this is used to derive Boolean expression. I am taking a K map here. So, three inputs IN1, IN2, and selection. Three inputs 2 power 3, 8 cell K map I have taken. And this is my Boolean expression. This is the logic circuit. So, for this Boolean expression, I am writing the logic circuit. This is the logic circuit for 2 to 1 multiplexer. Next, we will see 4 to 1 multiplexer. 4 to 1 multiplexer. So, having 4 input lines, 1 output line. Observe carefully. 4 input lines, 1 output line. 4 input lines means 2 power 2. 2 power 2 input lines, 2 selection lines and 1 output line. This is the block diagram. 4 inputs, 2 selection lines, 1 output line. To explain this circuit, I am considering like this. Okay. So, take 0, 0 here. 0, 1. 1 0 1 1 so input combinations i have taken if my inputs are if my input 0 0 is my input if my input is 0 0 then these selection lines select i not and it goes to output observe carefully 0 0 my inputs to selection line then I not is selected. Similarly, 0, 1. Then, I1 is selected and it goes to output. 0, 1. I1 is my output. Next, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So, if 1, 1 is my input, then it goes to select I3 and I3 goes to output Y. My output is nothing but I3 for 1, 1. This is what happens in 4 to 1 multiplexer. And to derive Boolean expression, Y, Y is nothing but output. So, S0, zero, S10 zero, and I0. S0 bar, S1 bar and I0. Observe, S0 bar, S1 bar and I0. Next, S0, S1 bar into i1 s0 s1 bar into i1 similarly this two so this is my boolean expression this is the logic circuit for 4 to 1 multiplexer here i am implementing 4 to 1 multiplexer indirectly means 4 to 1 multiplexer using lower order multiplexers so, 4 to 1 multiplexer is higher order, 2 to 1 multiplexer is lower order here. So, I am implementing 4 to 1 multiplexer using 2 to 1 multiplexers. First, to implement this, observe number of inputs required, 4. So, I am taking 2 to 1 multiplexers, 2 here. So, 2 inputs here, 2 inputs here, 4 inputs. Next, it produces 1, 1, 2 outputs. Again, I am taking 1 more multiplexer. So, totally 3, 2 to 1 multiplexers are required to create 4 to 1 multiplexer. So, 4 to 1 multiplexer with 4 inputs, 2 selection lines and 1 output line. This is the block diagram of 4 to 1 multiplexer using 2 to 1 multiplexers. And this is the truth table. If you want to analyze this, just go through it. I am taking like this 0, 1, 0, 
1. Again, here 0, 1. If my S1 is 0 and S0 is 0, S1 is 0, okay, and S0 is 0, okay. So, my output is nothing but I0. Observe here. Similarly, if S1 is 0, S0 is 1. S1 is 0, S0 is 1. Then my output is I1. Similarly, 1, 1. So, S1 is 1, S0 is 1. My output is I3. So, this is the way you have to analyze this block diagram. Observe the truth table and Boolean expression at the same time. Truth table, Boolean expression. So, if you implement 4 to 1 multiplexer either directly or using lower order. So, the truth table, Boolean expression and logic circuit. So, everything will be same except the block diagram. Next, I am going to implement 8 to 1 multiplexer. Observe, 8 to 1 multiplexer is having 8 input lines one output line. So, I have taken 8 input lines here and one output line. 2 power 3 input lines, 3 selection lines. So, I have considered 3 selection lines here. So, based on the input to the selection lines, one selection line is considered, one input line is considered and it goes to output. So, if it is 0, 0, 0, then it considered I0 and it produces I0 as output. If it is 0, 0, 1, then I1 is the output. Similarly, 1, 0, 0 results 4, I4 as output. Observe this root table carefully. 0, 0, 0 results I0, 0, 0, 1 results I1. 0, 1, 0 results I2. So, and so on. Next, try to draw this Boolean expression and implement this. So, this is the logic circuit for 8 to 1 multiplexer having 8 input lines, 3 selection lines and 1 output line. Next, I am going to implement 8 to 1 multiplexer with lower order multiplexer. Observe this. So, 8 to 1 multiplexer using 4 to 1 multiplexer and 2 to 1. So, 8 number of inputs. So, I am taking 2 4 to 1 multiplexers. So, 4 inputs here, 4 inputs here. Next, again 2 outputs. So, for these 2, I am taking 2 to 1 multiplexer. This is the block diagram for 8 to 1 multiplexer using 4 to 1 and 2 to 1 multiplexers. If you want to analyze this, I will explain this. Observe. So, combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Again, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. I am going, going from bottom to top. So, 0, one because only one selection line. So, possible combinations are either 0 or 1. Here 2 means 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. 4 possible combinations. So, if S2 is 0, okay, S1 0, S0 0. So, S2 is 0. Select this one and go here. So, my output is I0. If S2 is 1, it goes like this and S1 S0 zeros. So, this is my output 1 0 0 I4 is my output. So, similarly check for 1 1 1. So, 1 means it is going like this and 1 1. So, my output is 7. So, 0 1 0. 0, 1, 0. 
So 0, 1, 0. I2 is my output. This is the way to analyze 8 to 1 multiplexer block diagram. And this is the Boolean expression same as 8 to 1 multiplexer what we have derived using direct method. Next, try to draw logic circuit for this Boolean expression. Next, 16 into 1 or 16 to 1 multiplexer. So, 16 to 1 multiplexer directly and indirectly I am going to explain. So, observe this is the 16 into 1 multiplexer having 16 input lines. So, 2 power 4 input lines, 4 selection lines and 1 output line. I am going to implement using lower order multiplexers. So, 8 to 1 multiplexer, 8 to 1 multiplexer. 8 inputs here, 8 inputs here. Total 16 inputs I have considered and total 4 selection lengths. I have taken 3 selection lengths here, 1 selection length here. Analyze this and implement Boolean expression and try to draw the logic circuit. This is about different types of multiplexers what we observe in combinational logic circuits. So, this is the truth table output. So, in next class, we will discuss about sequential logic circuit introduction. Thank you.